All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. Out here on the river today with my daughter, and we're doing something a little bit different. You'll notice I really don't have any rod and reels. I got one little ultralight right there on the front, but I really don't have any rod and reels with me or anything because what we did was we came out here yesterday afternoon and we set some limb lines. I don't know if any, any of y'all have ever done that before, but it's really fun to set limb lines for catfish. And you heard me talk about earlier in my earlier videos when I was catching the shad, I was saying that is what I was catching them for was to uh, catch catfish with and run limb lines. So we set 13 yesterday afternoon. So we're gonna get right and run up and we're gonna check them and hopefully we have some catfish on them. And I'm also gonna set some more limb lines after we check those, I'm gonna go a little further up river and I'm gonna do some more. And when I do that, I'll kind of explain what I use, what hooks I use, what line and how I do it, and I'll kind of go through that. So we'll get to that then, but let's run up the river and see if we got some. All right, so we just checked the first two lines and we didn't have anything on them and we rebaited them. But I just got word from some guys back here on a kayak that I got a big one back here on this one in the back of his pocket. So let's go check it out. Did it come off? No, you got it. Hang on. When it comes up, it's going to go crazy. Don't let it wrap around your hand. Oh, that's a big one, babe. That is, that, that is, a, that is a nice one. All right, hang on. Here, come here. Oh yeah, that's a beast. That is a beast. Here, hold this. Oh, yeah. That is a good one. That is a good one. I'm gonna stand back. Yo. That's a that's at least a 20. At least. It is about 25. Yeah. Heck yeah. We'll get the hook out of him. Alright, so we're rolling up on our second spot right now. I see that we got another one on. It looks like it's pulling the limb pretty darn hard. And that last one we caught off that first set was an absolute beast of a catfish. So this is a, that's a 25 pounder, at least right there. So we got another big one right up here. I can see, well, I don't know how big he is, but I see the limb jumping and we're gonna go get him. We're gonna go see what we got. So I'm gonna roll Kai up there. She's gonna grab the line and we're gonna see how big it is. All right, so just realize that we had <laughs> A catfish or something completely break the limb off of one of my other lines. I had another line up here and it's completely gone. So I guess a catfish completely broke the limb. So I don't know. I'm going to get our get, uh, cow right here and we're going to grab this one and see what we got. Not too big. Not too big. Not too big. But it's pretty big. Oh, that's a nice one. We can put it in the one with Oh, the... yeah. Ew, nice cool. cat. Good, good eater size catfish. Yeah. This is a, this is another blue, blue cat. So we'll get him in the cooler. Okay, don't make this. All right, so we're going, all right, so we just got, that was number two. And like I said, <laughs> I had three lines right here and one, a catfish completely broke the limb. It's, it, the line's completely gone. It completely broke the, the limb off, which is, which is insane. So we're gonna get this one baited back up. And like I said, I'm using shad. We're gonna get this one baited up and, and uh, we're gonna check this other one. I don't think nothing's on this, on this other one, but we're gonna get it baited up and we're gonna keep going up and checking them. So using the old shad head on this one. Get it. Okay, <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. It's a little one. It's a little one. My hater. Okay, 
It's a nice, it's a keeper though. It's actually not that small. He's just wrapped all up. <laughs> oh, this is too much fun. Ah! <laughs> what the heck? If y'all don't do this with your kids, you should because this is super fun. This is a super fun way to catch catch fish. And check out this guy. This is a, this is a pretty a pretty nice one, a good eating size catfish. I think we're gonna have to use the small cooler too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. But this is a good eating size catfish, so we're gonna get him. He is like I said, he's all wrapped up. You can y'all can see he's done wrapped himself all up. Basically, just behind his fins is is where it's Basically. wrapped up at. But all right, so that's a nice nice eating size catfish about a. About a two and a half pounder or something. Might be might be three. So we're gonna throw him in the cooler. I gotta get that line. I gotta get that line redone because it's wrapped all up. But we're gonna get some good fillets. We're gonna get some really good fillets. But mama Be a big one here. I don't know. Yeah. This is awesome. These limbs are really loaded up. Not too big. How's he feel? Not too big. He's he's pretty big. Oh, that's a pretty nice one. All right. Don't get him up in here. Don't let him. Don't let him hit you. All right, so we just got this one off this line. Oh, like six. Feet. Another good eating size one, probably about two and a half or, or three pounds. So we're gonna get him in the cooler. We're gonna get this line rebated and get up to the next one. Anyone on there? I thought I saw it shaking. really shouldn't be like oh yeah that's one on there i think yeah. get on the other side get on the other side the just grab it if you feel some weight let me know one on it yeah. oh yeah all right that's enough hey, that's exactly yeah. that's exactly what we want so the thing is as fun as it is to catch really really big ones so these size are actually the ones that you want. These are the eater size catfish. These are the ones that are really good to eat. And they'll also throw water in your face. All right, so this is the size you want. This is, I mean, this is like a two pounder. It's the perfect size. This is a blue cat. That's pretty much, that's, that's all we have so far is blue cats other than that one, uh, that one kind of flathead mud cat as i call them but they're not really a mud cat they're, they're actually a bullhead is what they're called but but uh you know we this is this is Isn't working this out like see she, she's never done this before i used to do this back before she was born or when my wife was pregnant with her me and a buddy we used to do this all the time and we used to i mean we absolutely destroyed them and we caught some really big ones up to up to 40 pounds um so it is it's really fun you know the first one we got was really big 25 plus pounder and you know all the other ones have been good eaters so we got uh how many lines do we have left to do i, I think don't we have even like, know how many we've done i think we have well, i had 13 and i think i got six more lines to check i thought we had so, 14 13 or 14 something yeah like that. one or the other but we're gonna we're gonna actually put up some more lines after we check these so we can come back this afternoon and check them again so let's get this thing baited up so we can run up the river and hopefully hopefully get another big one yeah i hopefully. do like getting big ones i think i think we got two in here right There's one on that one. Is that the only one we did right here? 
Oh yeah, we got one here. Yeah, this is the last one. Is he on there? Is it? All right. Ah, it's hanging my hair. <laughs> How big is it? Pretty big. Oh, it is a big one. Ah! Whoa, it's a big one. Hang <laughs> on, it is a big one. <laughs> You good? Yeah, that one might like be Yeah, this is a this is a big one. Yeah, you're gonna have All to right. pull that one in. I'ma tell you what, I'm gonna tell y'all what. This is a monster. monster. Like I don't know how big it is. This one actually is big. right now. But the current, I gotta play the current here. Yeah, it's big. This it is almost pull me hang on. Yeah, this is a this is a I'm gonna go to the back. I don't wanna get knocked down. Cause it's big, I couldn't even pull it in. Daddy might not even be able to pull it in. Oh my God! This oh my God! Oh my God! This is a fifty. Oh my God! This, this is a fifty or sixty pounder. Oh my God! Oh my God! This is a fifty or sixty pounder, and I have no clue. This is one like a Bass Pro. Yeah, I mean, oh my God! Oh my God! I have no clue oh my how God. I'm gonna get this catfish in the boat. Me either. I have no clue. I want to call mom. All right, look, get, look. Uh, uh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> look. I call mom. Hang on. No, we got to get this guy in the boat. Uh, right, dang. Look, that could definitely feed the whole family. This is. <laughs> <laughs> this. I've never seen a catfish this big in my life. Only at Best Pro. This is a. <laughs> I no wonder I couldn't pull it in. God, this is this is a bit unexpected. Get it. I'll hold. Hang it. on, no, 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 no. Pick, nah. it, pick up the GoPro. Get the GoPro off. The thing. All right. Don't doubt it. Don't touch it. I've got to somehow. I don't have my fish grippers. You don't. I don't have anything. No. You don't have your fish grippers? Because no. you didn't know that we were going to catch this something. No, like hey, look, 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 why? Look, th this is what I'm going to need for you today. Yeah. I'm going to need, for, I'm going to throw him in the boat. Yeah. Then what am I going to do? I'm going to throw him in the bottom of the boat and you stay, go stand on the back of the boat. I'm calling mom after this happens. Oh my God. Our last one is Dude. luck. Our last one is luck. He's gonna go crazy. Oh my God. I wanna call mama. <laughs> I wanna call mama. Holy freaking crap. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that thing? I can't see what I'm pointing at. That's all right, just point it at me. <laughs> that is a big. Is an absolute monster. <laughs> Oh Daddy can barely even pick him up. <laughs> that is huge. That is huge. I'm calling mama. That's a 50 plus pounder. That's a 50 plus pounder out of the Nottoway River right there. I had no clue. Whew. That dude is huge. I want to call mama. And oh tell my her. God, give me five. Oh, dude. I think it's a 60 pounder. It's a 60 pounder. It has to be. That is a big one. That is a big, that's a big one. Holy moly. That, that's almost as big as a tuna. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so just got done catching that giant catfish. It's really getting hot out here. It's really yeah. warming up. Uh, so I'm starting to sweat, but that I was awesome. Kai grabbed a hold of that line and, and pulled it up. <laughs> and when it came up and thrashed, you know, I thought it was a nice one, you know, I mean, a, a 15 pounder or something like that. But, you know, then when I saw it run and, and I saw the swirls it was making, I ran up there and grabbed that line and I was like, holy crap, <laughs> this is a he big. He could barely even pull it in. Yeah, I was like, this is a big fish. So I kind of had to finesse him. I didn't, I don't have my net or anything with me, which is kind of crazy or any fish grippers or anything. Um, but anyway, we didn't know we were gonna catch yeah, I, I didn't know I was going to get one that big. So that's my biggest one in the river by far. Absolute monster. So. Uh, pretty cool deal there. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to set a few more lines and I'm going to explain to y'all how I do it. And what I use, this is standard 80 pound 
a mason line right here, just mason twine you use it. Uh, you buy from a hardware store or something like that. A five alt true turn uh, catfish hook. Five alt true turn catfish hook. You have to have a tag on it with your name, phone number, and address. And on the back side of all of them, I have, I put reflectorized striping on them in case I check them at night. I can see my tags flickering. So you have to have that. that that's in Virginia, so check your local laws uh, to see if this is even, even legal at all in, in your state, but it's legal here in Virginia. And then, oh, and then I use a nut, and these are half inch, uh, half inch nuts. And this saves money. You can buy a box of nuts for really cheap. And it's just enough weight to hold that, uh, you know, hold your line down and keep the current from pushing it out. If you're fishing in a pond or a lake or something that doesn't have any current, you don't really need to worry about this. But in the rivers, you can use one, two, three, however many you need to, uh, you know, to get your line where it's not being floating up near the top or whatever, you know, from the current. So we're going to pull up to this limb. I'm going to show you all kind of what limbs you want to look for, uh, the better limbs. And then we're going to get this thing tied up and baited. The greenish so, ones are better, right? That's right. The green limbs are better because they're more flexible and they won't break off. So let's get up here and get tied off. All right. So basically, this is the mouth of a cove. And it's out of the current for the most part. You don't want to have it. I don't like tying them directly in the current if the water is running as hard as it is. The water's come up, gotten high and muddy in the last couple days. So when it's like that, I like to focus on the front of the coves. So you want to find a tree like this. This is a cypress tree. It has a really good flexible limb. You can see up, it's going up and down. This thing is not going to break. You could catch an absolute giant catfish. Like the one that we just like caught. Like the one we just caught on this limb. As small as it is, you don't think it, but it, you can. All right, so I look at my depth finder. It's eight foot deep right here. So I want to... My arm span is about six foot because I'm six foot tall. So you want to do this. Right, that's about 12 foot. And then right there, if I can find my scissors. Your scissors? I got them right here. Those are yellow. Yeah, they're... All right, so you want to tie off to the limb first before you tie the hook or anything on there. That way you don't have the hook dangling all around. Have to worry about that. You want to leave enough tag in down so you can tie your, your uh, name tag on it. So all I do is three overhand knots. I'm telling you, there ain't a catfish out there that's gonna pull three overhand knots with this line apart. So then you wanna put your, tie your tag up, up here, your identification tag, and then got your hook. You wanna run through your hook here. And what I do is I do like a clinch knot or cinch knot, people call them different things. And I do six twists, and then I just come through and pull her down tight. All right, I cut off the tag end. And then the way you do this nut is I like to put the nut about, you know, a foot or 15 inches above it. Loop your line like this, run it through the nut, just like that, and then loop the line over your nut and then it ties it in place boom just like that so we have a perfect line right here we have eight foot of water this line is going to end up being like three foot off the bottom which is what i prefer so let's go ahead and get some bait and get this thing baited up so that's the way you want to do your lines it's the easiest way to do it and as you can see you can catch some big fish doing this yeah. it is extremely fun so you ought to give it a try if you don't do it let's get this thing baited up so back here at the house and I'm getting ready to clean these fish. I got like, we probably caught like 20. I, I'm not really sure, like 15, I think. And caught this one great big one. And then we got another one as well. That's probably about 25 pounds. This one weighed in on my scale at 43 pounds, 11 ounces. I honestly believe that it's bigger than that. But it's uh, 41 inches long. But I mean, it's big head, nice and fat. But this is a this is just a monster fish. I'm gonna show them to y'all real quick, get a little bit better, uh, better view of him for y'all. And then we're gonna. And a lot of people are saying, well, why would you keep one that big? The reason being is we use these big ones for muddle, uh, catfish muddle or fish muddle. I don't know how many of y'all eat that, but it's really freaking good. But this is just a monster 
monster catfish. I'm gonna actually get him up under stomach. the stomach and hold him. And that is just a that is a giant catfish. Hold him up for y'all. And there he is. I mean that is a, it's a nice one. That is a monster cat. I couldn't even pull it in. Yeah, He's a Kai, belly. yeah, Kai had some trouble getting this bad boy in, but uh, they got another one. Like I said, that first one we got was like 25, something like that. Really big catfish. So, like I said, the big ones we use for muddle, and all the other ones we're gonna fillet out, and you know they're gonna be good for frying or grilling or however we decide to do it. But uh, we had a good time. This is the first mm -hmm. time I've run limb lines in like probably literally 10 years, and I would it was say. My first time. And well, actually, in eight years was because uh, I was the yeah, last time I did it was right before she was before she was born so anyway but we had a great time i'm actually going out this afternoon and going to check them again and we might have some more big ones so anyway like and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see y'all next time on gunfish tv